Hi, I'm Lorenzo Fanchi from funkyphotography.com and in this tutorial I'll explain how you can create a Photoshop action that applies a graphic watermark to your pictures. So I've prepared some images to which we're going to be uh, adding the graphic watermark. Uh, you can start by dragging one of the images into Photoshop because we're going to use that to create the action. So as you can see I've uh, made a little folder here called Tutorial Actions and we can start recording our um, action by clicking the uh, Create New Action button down here. So I'll name it Watermark Action. So what you'll mostly find is uh, on tutorials on the web is how to add uh, text watermarks. So um, these are just basic uh, layers in Photoshop uh, using the let me see using the text tool horizontal type tool. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a graphic watermark, uh, like you can uh, like the ones that I have on my uh, my website on my blog. So to do that, you'll go into the file place command and I've already prepared uh, an image which is uh, my autograph and but you can use uh, any document any anything uh, anything you want to watermark your image with so uh, you can select it and go to place and as you can see it placed uh, the image in a new layer so you can move this around uh, what I usually do is I align it to the bottom right hand of my uh, picture. And to do that you go into layer, align layers to selection, and you do it for bottom edges and for right edges, depending on where you want it obviously. So um, let me just nudge that a bit away from the edges, like that. And then, I mean, you can play around with it. Uh, you can uh, add some, oh. you can add some, uh, like a stroke or something to have it stand out a bit more from the background. I don't know, whatever. Something like this. All right. And, okay. That's more or less it. Now we just need to, uh, flatten the image because otherwise you can't save it as a uh, as a JPEG image. So we save by using Command uh, S or Control S if you're on the PC. Uh, quality ten, this is fine. All right, and then we can stop recording the action. So now we can. Now you have your uh, your watermarking action, and you can use this just uh, as you would any other action in Photoshop. So uh, like this, and we play back the action, and as you can see, the watermark has been applied. But what's more interesting is you can also create a droplet using Photoshop, and for that you go into File. Uh, automate, create droplet, and let's see, we'll save the droplet on the desktop and I'll name it watermark droplet. And this will let you select an action. So I've uh, selected the action that we've just created, which is a watermark action from the tutorial actions. Uh, we want to include all subfolders suppress the file open dialogues and suppress the profile, color profile warnings. And as destination we just use a save and close. Um, what this will uh, let you do is it'll create a droplet and you can just drag a folder to the droplet. It'll open Photoshop, apply um, the watermark to all the images, save them, and uh, yeah, it'll save you a tremendous amount of work. So let's just do that. Click OK. And now on the desktop, you'll see that it has created the watermark droplet. 
So let's see what happens uh, when we add the folder to it. Well, that one already had the watermark, but I guess that's fine. So it's done. Let's check them out. There we go. This one already had it. This one too. And as you can see, the watermark has been added to these new pictures. Same goes here. Alright. I hope you uh, enjoyed this first tutorial. And um, see you around.